Today we are going to learn how to use a single push button for multiple functions. So without any further delay, let's get started. These are the things required, a breadboard, an Arduino Nano. You can use any microcontroller, I am choosing Nano because it's breadboard friendly. A push button and a jumper wires. Now connect everything as shown in the circuit. Place Arduino and push button on the breadboard. Connect one leg of the push button to any digital pin of Arduino. Connect other leg of the push button to ground of Arduino. Okay, now let's move program. You can get the code from my website. I have provided the link in the description. First we have to declare a name for the pin at which we connect to the push button. Then we have to declare a ball variable for saving the state of the switch. Here we have declared a variable for saving the number of times the switch is pressed. Here the variable time diff is for storing the time gap between press and release of the button. Here we have declared two flag variables which I will explain later. And finally these two variables are for storing the time from release function. Now let's move to the set of function where we have wrote the code for serial monitor and pin mode for push button and we have also used the internal pull up system now let's move to our two function this if block is executed when the switch is pressed and the flag to variable equal to zero that is if we press the push button then the time from the release function at that instance will save to the press time variable then the tab counter will increase by 1 then the flag 1 will be assigned 0 and flag 2 will be assigned 1 so this if block won't execute again until the flag 2 variable will become 0 again the 10 millisecond delay is for to avoid debouncing of the button this if block will execute if the button is released like same as the previous if block here the time from release will save to release time variable and the flag 1 and flag 2 variable will be reset to the default and the difference between release time and press time will be stored to time diff variable here we wait for some time before executing this if flop we are giving that time for completing the button process and also the button has to be in release position for this if block to get executed First we check the number of times the button is pressed. If it is pressed one time then the code will enter inside this if block and check again whether the time diff is greater than 400. If the condition is true then the button has been holded. If the condition is false then the button is single tapped. Now if the main if condition is false then the code will check the button has been double tapped. Then check whether the time diff is 400. If the condition is true, then the button is single tapped and hold. And if the condition is false, then the button is double tapped. If the first two conditions are wrong, then the code will check whether the button is tapped three times. If it is true, then the code inside the condition will execute. If that is also wrong, then the code will check whether the button is tapped four times. If it is true, then the statements inside the if block will execute it. If it is also wrong, then nothing will happen because I have not given any else statements. As you can see here, I have called function inside each if blocks. All the functions are blank now. Let's upload the code and check. Okay, open the serial monitor. Single tap, double tap, four tap, triple tap, tap and hold. Oops, it's not working. Let's check again. Okay, now it's working. Again, not working. Sometimes the function with the hold is not working. Mm. I will check it and update the code. 
Now let's connect an LED and check the different functions of the button. This is an RGB LED which I taken out from a addressable LED strip. Now let's connect it with our Arduino. Connect the positive to the 3 volt and the red, green, blue to 12th, 11th and 10th pin. Now let's program the LED to work with the push button. First define name for all the pins. Then make pin mode as output. For checking whether it's working, let's turn on and off each color and upload code. Oops, it's too short. Let's increase the delay. Still it's not showing red, green and blue. It's because initially the LED is on, so we need to turn it off. So, so just add digital write high for red, green and blue. Now upload the code again. Okay, now it's working perfectly. Now let's code to show different colors for different button function. Red for single tap, green for double tap. Oops, there is a problem here. We need to turn off all the colors first. Otherwise, we will get a mixed color combination. For that, we can write another function called no light. And write digital write high for red, green and blue. That is to off all the colors. Now inside each function, first call the no light function. Then individually turn on the colors which we need. Okay, so it's finished now. Now upload the code and check. Open the serial monitor. Single tap is showing red color. Double tap is green. Triple tap is blue. Four tap is purple. Hold is yellow. Tap and hold. Not working. Let's do it again. Okay, it's some other color. So that's it guys. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe for more interesting videos.